Hello YouTube friends. Here is another instalment in the Liberty series that I want to talk to you about this morning. And um, last time when we looked at a bit of Liberty and I've started talking, so here comes Norma. Last time I talked to you about how to use a tiny, tiny piece of Liberty or any special fabric to make um, a, a window hanging or a beautiful stained glass effect um, piece of fabric. Talking about really tiny pieces. Now today we're going to go to the absolute opposite end of the spectrum and we're going to look at an enormous piece of Liberty. It's right over there, I'll show it to you in a minute. Now, I did a tutorial on the trip around the world block, uh, this one a little while ago, where we looked at how to cut fabric uh, so that we get this kind of checkerboard effect. I made another one in pinks and greens like this so that you could see. So that distribution is light, dark, light, dark. This distribution is a little bit more um, ordered so that if you were to put a lot of these together you would actually make a secondary pattern with uh, with all of this beautiful um, stripe effect. Now the reason why I'm talking about this quilt that I'm going to show you now today is that uh, I've got a quilt commission that I'm working on at the moment and I'm all out on it. I'm absolutely all out and as soon as the person who's commissioned it has actually got the quilt then I'm going to put up the film that I'm making about it. So it seems uh, it's underneath the quilt that I've got on the wall over there, which is probably why I'm going to talk to you about this today so that I can cover that up. But it is a trip around the world block. So trip around the world's pretty much in my head at the moment. And what I want to show you now is a quilt that I made, uh, oh, um, maybe three years ago now for an exhibition that I was doing. I did a, an exhibition called Running With Scissors. I always like naming things. So this quilt that I'm about to show you is called Never Felt More Like Singing. And you add on the end yourself, the blues, because it's a blue quilt. Now, I'll tell you the statistics about this quilt. I'm going to keep you in suspense just a tiny little bit longer. I can't actually show you the whole thing because it's pretty big. It's about seven and a half foot square, uh, which is massive. So it fits over a bed, it drapes down the side. It's really huge. It is made out of 100% Liberty and the back is Liberty as well. And because when I use Liberty like that, normally when I use lovely cotton weight fabric, I use 100% um, cotton wadding. It seems perfectly in keeping with the fabric that I'm using. But somehow when I'm using Liberty fabric, like the one I'm looking at now, it doesn't seem right to use cotton wadding with that. So I use this stuff. I use 100% silk wadding, uh, which I get from a company called the Silk Root. I first saw these people at the Festival of Quilts in um, the Birmingham NEC. I went to that for two or three years running. I really had a good time. And I first met these people there. And so I buy silk wadding from them. Very expensive. And also this isn't enough for the quilt that I'm going to show you. So the quilt I'm about to show you has two packs of this. Because I think a double layer of silk wadding is even more luxurious than a single layer. So I'm going to get rid of this cat if I can. It's impossible, isn't it? I'm actually surrounded by cats. There's Prudence just stretching out of the way there. I think Sadie's asleep behind me, just here. And Rita's on the chair over there. So I'm, I'm full of cats this morning. I've been sewing in my pyjamas <laughs> since about seven o'clock this morning, just stitching, stitching, stitching on this quilt commission. But now I'm going to show you this quilt now. Are you ready? I've built it up really big, haven't I? But this is Liberty at its absolute best, I think. Never felt more like singing. Here it is. Okay, so I've pinned it up onto my design board. 
with a lot of pins. It doesn't fit, I've had to actually clip it onto the side of the shelves there. And if I take the camera, it actually goes all the way down to the floor and it even laps up on the floor a little bit because it's just that big. So let's talk about this quilt for a bit then. So this quilt then is the trip around the world block, but it is uh, random. It's the only thing that hangs it together is the fact that it's blue and it does give a kind of um, square effect because of the way that I've got the dark blues going um, kind of in a block shape. You can see, can't you? I haven't respected that completely because there are some uh, there are some blues that are lighter and darker, but you can see an overall square effect there, can't you? I hope so. There it is. So when I made this quilt then, uh, a few years ago, I did all the preliminary machining, cutting, machining, uh, and cutting again, so that I had six little bundles of six all ready to be unpicked. And I took them on, I was going somewhere, I took them on a long train journey uh, and uh, unpicked them on the, on the train. It was lovely because lots of people stopped to ask what I was doing and it started lots of conversations with people who either were quilters or, or were interested in quilting. So I unpicked them all that way and just pinned them carefully together in their groups of six and then got back and stitched and stitched and stitched and stitched and stitched some more until the whole thing was finished. For the backing fabric, I chose all this design, Hera, which is the blue peacocks. It's very iconic, uh, the blue uh, Liberty. So the whole of the back is that one thing there, and so is the binding, is all that Hera there. So from last week then, when I was doing this little tiny Liberty project, using the smallest little squares hand-stitched onto these... Um, uh, pieces of cotton fabric to this now, which is probably the biggest Liberty thing I've ever made. Uh, and uh, I'll put some pictures in here of it uh, hanging in the exhibition. And also, I think if I can find it, I'll put a picture of it uh, on my bed, which is the best way to photograph it really, isn't it? On a big double bed. Yeah, so there it is. It was an absolute joy to make and it was a joy to quilt as well. So the quilting of this, I did with, hand quilted with... Um, Embroidery thread, three strands of lots and lots of different blue of blues of embroidery thread. Uh, so you can see then with the hand quilting, I took the quilting stitches in the opposite direction to the squares that the big square was making. And I hand quilted this in lots and lots of different colours uh, of uh, embroidery thread. So there then, that's what to do with a huge amount of Liberty. All the blues. I hope you like it. Underneath here is the quilt commission that I'm making that I can't show you, but I'm, I am making video about that. So in a few weeks time, I'll be able to put a video up about that. But for now, it's a rainy bank holiday Monday. I will leave you with some pictures of this quilt in situ. And thanks for watching. And I'll catch up with you next Monday with another Liberty project and through the week with whatever else. Uh, it's really nice to have you along. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I've been watching the numbers on the channel just grow and grow. It's been fantastic. I'm really, 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 really grateful to have you along for the ride. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.